Here we're going to determine the possible number of positive and negative real zeros of this polynomial. So step one, I'm going to go ahead and draw a table to help me organize our zeros. Uh, next, uh, we're going to look at our degree of our polynomial. This is a fifth degree polynomial, so my total number of zeros should always be five. Next, we're going to uh, start with determining how many positive zeros we have. All we have to do is look at the polynomial the way it is and see how many times the sign changes. Uh, so actually, in looking at this polynomial, uh, all of the signs are positive, which means there were no sign changes. So that means we're not going to have any positive real zeros. So we put a zero here. Now let's find out how many uh, possible negative zeros. To determine the number of negative zeros, simply change the sign of all odd degree terms, then count how many times the sign change from one term to the other. Let's see how many odd degree terms we have. We have three odd degree terms. We're going to go ahead and change their signs. And now we're going to count how many times the sign changed. From first to second, did it change? Yes. Did it change? Yes. Did it change? Yes. Did it change? Yes. Did it change again? Yes. How many times did the sign change? Five. So that means that we have five negative zeros. Now, the first two columns are the only two columns that you add. Remember the third column is your adjustment column. You place a number there if it does not add up to what it should be for your total. So zero plus five, that does add up to five, our total. So then there, there are no imaginary zeros. We put a zero there. Um, let's go to our next scenario. Uh, we can't subtract two there without going into the negative. So that number stays, that's gonna be a zero. We can set, subtract two from five. So subtract two, we get three. Now let's add these two columns, because these are the only two columns you add, and they do not add up to five. So what number do I need here so it adds up to five? Yes, a two. Going to the next scenario, again, we're going to put a zero here because you can't subtract two without going into the negatives. How about here? Can you subtract two? Yes, we can subtract two, and that'll leave us with one. Okay. Um, does that add up to five? No, that doesn't add up to five. That's only one. So to make that add up to five, what do we put here? Yes, a four. Okay, how do you know how many scenarios? Well, these are the only two columns that you're going to use as a judge of creating more scenarios. And neither one of these, I can't subtract two anymore without going into the negative. So that means I'm done. So by Descartes' rules of sign, the possible number of positive zeros, there are none. So you just say zero. Negative five, three, or one. Uh, none real complex zeros, uh, fours, two, or zero.